In this YouTube video, we'll demonstrate how to manage Google Document shared access and removal list in a Google Sheet automatically. Moreover, we'll thoroughly explain to you how to add filters, set up triggers accordingly, and get automated workspace notifications as well. To start the process, first open up the Google Sheet in which you want to maintain the access record of the Google document to which you want to share automatically or remove access from its previous access holder automatically. As you have opened the Google Sheet, now copy its URL. Next to this, go to the Extensions button then click on App Script option and give an appropriate name to the App Script project. As you can see, the coding section of the App Script has been opened to you. Hence here we will paste the script for further work. Please watch this video till the end to have the access to the complete app script code. And then need to paste that copied URL in front of doc text showing in the coding section in between inverted commas. Once it's done, now copy again your sheet's URL from slash icon after small d till its next slash icon before edit and paste it in front of sheet ID again in the inverted commas. Next to this, you need to put your email ID in front of the email address on which you'll get access requests to the Google document. Now, we'll go to Google Workspace to create a new space. For this, go to your Google Workspace then Chat option, and finally click on the Create a Space button. Here, you need to give your space an appropriate name, like we have given the auto share request to our, and click on the Create button. Now, Click on the drop-down menu of the space and select the Apps and Integrations option. Next to this, click on the Add Webhooks button showing at the bottom right of the page and click on the Save button by pasting the space name there to start the automation process. For further, we'll click on the three-dot icon and we'll cope the link. Go back to your App Script's coding section again and paste the copied link in the front of Endpoint in between both inverted commas. Here. You can see that we've sent the request to the Google Doc with another email ID. As you can see here, we received a simple email for the access request. So to make it a label-based email, we'll go to the email and click on the three-dot icon. From here, we'll go to the filter messages like this option and we'll set a filter by giving it a subject and creating the required filter. Hence, we'll give the subject share request for access automation and we'll go to the create filter option. As the options list opens up, we'll click on the Apply the Label option and select the Choose a Label drop-down, and finally, we'll go to the New Label option. Here, you need to give it an appropriate name like we have given Auto Share Request name and click on the Create button. For more filters, we will add the Also Apply filter to one matching conversations option by clicking on it, and then we'll click on the Create Filter button. To avoid the lopping process issue, the automation works only on unread emails. Hence, we'll make an email unread for further work. Once we have added the filter and made an email unread, now we will set the trigger. The addition of a trigger will make your access sharing tasks automated as well as automate your access removal tasks. For this, we'll go back to the coding section of the Google Apps Script Automation and click on the trigger option showing on the left side panel next to the clock icon. Here we will add two triggers, one for process and read emails, and the other for revoke access within their specific timing. The process and read emails will automate your access sharing task, while the trigger for revoke access will automate your access revoking task. Next, we will click on the plus add trigger button shown in the bottom right corner. Here, you need to add functions according to your requirements like for giving automated access. We'll select the process and read emails option in the function the head option in deployment, the time-driven option in the event source minutes timer, option in triggers type, and every minute option in the minute interval, and we'll click on the save. Once we have added the first trigger for automated access sharing on every minute, now we'll move toward another trigger which is for automated access removal in every five minutes. For this, we will click again on the add trigger button and select the revoke access option in the function, the head option in deployment, the time-driven option in the event source, the minutes timer option in triggers type, and every five minutes option in the minute interval and we'll click on the save. We have created two triggers here. One is process and read emails for access sharing automation on every minute, and another is access revoke for access revoke automation on every five minutes, both for testing purposes. As you can see here, Access to the sheet has been given successfully to three people, one who has been revealed on the screen and two others who asked for the same. Plus, 
got the notification on space for access automation sharing, and you will see that the whole entries have been entered in the sheet automatically, such as name of the user, email ID, access automation, and date with timing. Additionally, you can check out the history of your all created or edited triggers within their specific timing and functioning by going to the executions option. For this, click on the executions option showing on the side panel just down to the trigger option. From here, you can see all added triggers, including their multiple parameters, such as start time, duration, function, status, type, and deployment. Within this filter button, you will get many options such as in start time, last 5 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 24 hours, in status, running, paused, completed, cancelled, failed, timeout, disabled, in type, multiple options again, in deployment, head and can put trigger ID. For example, here we will set the last 5 minutes execution through the start time by clicking on the apply button and you will see that all last 5 minutes filters only will display to you. Since the 5 minutes have been completed now, so we'll go back to the sheet and we'll check for the access revoke automation. As we will refresh the document, the access to the document will automatically get revoked. It is often possible that a user who gets access for 5 minutes will not be able to complete their work. So to avoid the situation of access revoke automation every 5 minutes, we will edit the triggers. For this, we will click on the edit trigger option by clicking on the pencil icon. And we'll choose the process and read emails option in the function, the head option in deployment, the time driven option in the event source, the day timer option in triggers type, and 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. Option in time of the day means time interval. Also, we'll edit the trigger for access revoking by selecting the revoke access option in the function, the head option in deployment, the time driven option in the event source, the week timer option in triggers type, and every Sunday. Option in time of the day of week, midnight to 1 a.m. in time of day, and finally we'll click on the save button. You are not allowed to create or edit only two triggers. Instead, based on your requirements, you can add more than two triggers. As the time of the trigger gets up the access of the Google Sheet will automatically be updated. The access provider will get a notification directly into its space that automatically giving access of document, access automation for the requested person or else. Plus, the entire information, such as the email address of the user, date, time, document name, and name of the user will be automatically updated in the sheet. By following all the steps of the video, you can simply turn your manual documents and sheets access management work into automated operation. Apart from this, we'll learn how to add filters, create triggers, manage them with proper execution, and get their automated notifications on your preferred space. To have the access of the app script automation code, you need to check out how to manage Google Doc and Sheet Access automatically a complete automation article. As you will scroll down this article by the end, you will get the link of the app script code. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.